Born amidst the grandeur of Blenheim Palace, Winston Churchill's life was marked by early challenges. He struggled with a stutter and faced academic difficulties, finding solace in the world of words and storytelling. He yearned for greatness, dreaming of a life less ordinary. This yearning fueled his ambition and shaped his path. Churchill's early military career provided a taste of adventure. He served in India, Sudan and South Africa, witnessing firsthand the realities of conflict and colonialism. His experiences honed his courage and sharpened his strategic thinking. He wrote about his exploits, his words carrying the weight of experience and the thrill of daring. His foray into politics began in 1900, winning a seat in Parliament. He quickly gained recognition for his sharp intellect and bold oratory. He championed social reforms and advocated for a strong national defence, his voice rising above the din of parliamentary debate. He possessed a rare ability to articulate complex issues with clarity and conviction. Churchill's rise through the ranks was not without its setbacks. He faced criticism for his outspoken nature and unwavering self-belief. He navigated political storms with resilience, his determination unyielding. He learned from his mistakes, emerging stronger and more resolute. This tenacity would define his later years, shaping his response to the greatest challenges of his time. The 1930s marked a period of political isolation for Churchill. His warnings about the rising threat of Nazi Germany were largely ignored. He found himself at odds with the prevailing appeasement policies, his voice a lone cry in the wilderness. He refused to be silenced, his convictions unshaken by the tide of popular opinion. Churchill's unwavering stance against Nazism stemmed from a deep understanding of its inherent dangers. He recognized the threat it posed to democracy and freedom. He saw Hitler's aggression as a storm brewing on the horizon, one that threatened to engulf all of Europe. He continued to speak out, his words a beacon of warning in a world teetering on the brink of war. Despite his political isolation, Churchill remained active. He wrote extensively, his books and articles providing a platform for his ideas. He honed his oratory skills, his speeches becoming more powerful and persuasive. He used his time in the political wilderness to sharpen his mind and prepare for the challenges that lay ahead. The outbreak of World War II in 1939 proved Churchill's foresight. His warnings about the Nazi threat were tragically realized. His years of preparation had not been in vain. He was ready to answer the call of duty, his resolve strengthened by years of adversity. He emerged from the wilderness ready to lead his nation through its darkest hour. With the outbreak of war, Churchill was appointed First Lord of the Admiralty. He brought a renewed energy to the role, galvanizing the Royal Navy for the battles to come. He understood the importance of naval power in securing Britain's survival. He drew upon his experience and strategic insight, preparing the fleet for the long and arduous struggle ahead. The early months of the war were marked by setbacks. The fall of France in 1940 shook the nation to its core. Britain stood alone against the Nazi war machine. In this moment of crisis, Churchill's leadership proved pivotal. He rallied the British people, his speeches inspiring courage and defiance in the face of overwhelming odds. Churchill's speeches during this period became legendary. His words resonated with the British people, offering hope and resolve in a time of darkness. He spoke of their courage, their resilience, and their unwavering determination to resist tyranny. He galvanized the nation, uniting them in a common purpose. Churchill's leadership extended beyond inspiring words. He made tough decisions, prioritizing the war effort above all else. He understood the gravity of the situation, the very survival of his nation hanging in the balance. He forged alliances seeking support from other nations. He directed military strategy overseeing the defense of Britain against the relentless German assault. He was a beacon of strength in a time of unprecedented peril. The Battle of Britain, fought in the skies above England, became a turning point in the war. Churchill's unwavering leadership during this pivotal battle solidified his place in history. He rallied the Royal Air Force, praising their bravery and sacrifice in the face of relentless German air raids. He understood the importance of air power in defending the nation, his words bolstering the morale of the pilots who took to the skies each day. Churchill's speeches during the Battle of Britain resonated with a power that transcended national boundaries. His words conveyed the indomitable spirit of the British people, their determination to fight for their freedom against overwhelming odds. 
He spoke not just for Britain, but for all those who resisted tyranny. His voice became a symbol of hope for a world plunged into darkness. Churchill's leadership extended beyond inspiring speeches. He worked tirelessly, coordinating the war effort and forging alliances with nations that shared the goal of defeating Nazi Germany. He understood the importance of international cooperation in this global struggle. He navigated complex diplomatic relations, securing vital support from the United States and other allies. Despite facing immense pressure, Churchill remained resolute. He never wavered in his belief that Britain would prevail. His unwavering determination inspired those around him, from his closest advisers to the ordinary citizens who face the daily realities of war. He led with courage and conviction, his spirit unwavering in the face of adversity. He embodied the very essence of resilience, guiding his nation through its darkest hour. As the war progressed, Churchill navigated a complex web of alliances and military strategies. He worked closely with President Franklin D. Roosevelt and Soviet leader Joseph Stalin, forging a united front against the Axis powers. He understood the delicate balance of power within this alliance, working to maintain unity while pursuing Britain's interests. Despite the Allied victory in 1945, Churchill faced a personal defeat. He lost the general election shortly after the war's end. The British people, weary of years of conflict, sought a new direction. Churchill, the wartime leader who had guided them through their darkest hour, was voted out of office. Churchill's defeat did not diminish his stature. He remained a respected figure on the world stage, his voice still carrying weight in international affairs. He continued to write and speak, offering his insights on the post-war world and the challenges facing the Western democracies. His wartime leadership had left an indelible mark on history. He had rallied a nation, inspired the world, and played a pivotal role in defeating one of the greatest threats to freedom and democracy. His legacy as a wartime leader remained secure even as he stepped away from the political stage. In the post-war years, Churchill remained a prominent voice on the world stage. He delivered his famous Iron Curtain speech in 1946, warning of the growing divide between the Soviet Union and the West. He advocated for a strong Western alliance to counter Soviet expansionism, his words shaping the early years of the Cold War. Churchill's insights into the nature of the Soviet threat proved prescient. He recognized the dangers of communist ideology and the expansionist ambitions of the Soviet leadership. He urged the Western democracies to remain vigilant, to stand firm against the forces that threatened to divide the world once more. In 1951, Churchill returned to 10 Downing Street as Prime Minister. He focused on rebuilding Britain's economy and strengthening its international standing. He sought to navigate the complexities of the Cold War, advocating for peace through strength. Despite his advancing years, Churchill's mind remained sharp. He continued to engage in political debates, offering his wisdom and experience to a new generation of leaders. He remained a staunch advocate for democracy and freedom, his voice a reminder of the values for which Britain had fought so valiantly during the war. Churchill's final years were marked by declining health. He suffered a stroke in 1953, but recovered sufficiently to remain in office for another two years. He eventually stepped down as Prime Minister in 1955, bringing an end to his long and illustrious political career. Despite his retirement, Churchill remained a revered figure. He continued to write and paint his creative spirit undimmed by age. He received numerous honours, including the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1953 for his historical and biographical writings. Churchill's life story was one of triumphs and setbacks, of unwavering courage and relentless determination. He had faced numerous challenges, both personal and political, yet he never lost sight of his goals. He remained true to his convictions, his spirit undaunted by the storms he weathered. His final years were a testament to his enduring spirit. He faced his declining health with grace and dignity, his mind remaining sharp even as his body weakened. He continued to engage with the world around him, his interest in politics and world affairs never waning. Winston Churchill's legacy extends far beyond his role as a wartime leader. He was a prolific writer, a gifted orator and a man of immense intellect and courage. His words continue to inspire, his actions continue to be studied and his life story continues to captivate. Churchill's leadership during World War II serves as a timeless example of resilience and determination in the face of overwhelming odds. His speeches, 
imbued with eloquence and conviction, rallied a nation and inspired the world. His strategic acumen and unwavering belief in victory played a pivotal role in the Allied triumph over tyranny. His impact on modern politics is undeniable. His ideas about democracy, freedom, and the importance of international cooperation continue to shape the world today. His warnings about the dangers of appeasement and the importance of standing firm against aggression remain relevant in a world still grappling with conflict and instability. Winston Churchill's life was a testament to the power of the human spirit. He overcame adversity, embraced challenges, and left an indelible mark on the world. His story is a reminder that even in the darkest of times, courage, resilience, and determination can prevail. He remains an inspiration for leaders and citizens alike, his legacy a beacon of hope for generations to come.